And now, your first alert five weather. Do you enjoy the changing Aspen? I think most Coloradoans do. That's Peak View Pond in Mueller State Park. Highway 67 is going to be jam packed this weekend with leaf lookers. This could be the last good weekend to check out the Aspen across the Pikes Peak region. So uh, load up the car and grab some lunch. Don't forget the phone, the camera and uh, have some fun. Shout out to Peter for snapping and sending that to us. Outside right now, a live look from our Rock Room and Studios. That's the UCCS campus off in the distance. 63 is the current temperature, just a very light breeze out of the south. Have a live look from downtown Pueblo, a pair of sixes right now, and the wind is calm. Here's what's going to happen around here. Going to see an area of high pressure really in control of our weather tomorrow. You get a big helping of sunshine opposed to most of those clouds that we saw today. And with that drier air mass punching in temperatures tomorrow, going to be about three to eight degrees warmer than what we had today. You can see at nine tomorrow morning, still on the cool side, but not cold for this time of the year. By lunchtime, 60s and 70s. By mid afternoon, that'll be the peak warmth of the day. Still lots of sunshine all across southeastern Colorado. Even from five to seven o'clock tomorrow evening, we're going to stay with mostly clear skies here across the viewing area. Now by Friday, we're going to see that cold front come in. We're going to have a moist upslope flow, a little uh, energy in the atmosphere, so we could see some thunder showers late Friday afternoon into Friday night. That stuff gradually making its way south across the I-25 corridor. Some areas could actually land some appreciable rainfall late on Friday into early Saturday morning. Made you aware of this last night. There is a big, strong Canadian low developing. Modeling today bringing it a little further west than last night. What that simply means with that uh, further west drive drop is it's not going to be as cold and probably a little drier here along I-25. But again, it's so far out, a lot can still happen. Models always oscillate on a storm like this this far out. We'll watch it closely, keep you updated. Nonetheless, most of the moisture looks to fall along and west of the Continental Divide by Wednesday. Late in the day into the evening hours, we could see a few showers here across parts of the Pikes Peak region, maybe some snow in the foothills west of Denver. Again, updates right here with First Alert 5. Temperatures today on the cool side for this time of the year. Pueblo high only 67 in the springs. We came in in 65 degrees this afternoon. Overnight low temperatures tonight getting cold across some of those high mountain valleys. 34 for West Cliff, same in the San Luis Valley. Cool, but not really cold for this time of the year. Those numbers real close to where we should be this time of the year. And it is going to be a beauty around here tomorrow. I call it good excuse weather because if you're not at work, you better have a good excuse. Sunshine tomorrow. Enjoy that while you can. We do have changes in this forecast. Here's the forecast if you're headed up to mile high tomorrow evening. Wonder who Peyton Manning is going to cheer for. Broncos against the Colts. It's going to be a nice evening for football, even at the final gun, 59 degrees in Colorado Springs. Here's your super seven day forecast. Rain chances Friday, about 30% the way we see it right now. We'll have an updated forecast when you watch tomorrow. Chilly start Saturday morning, 37 for the morning low temperature. Nice recovery Saturday afternoon, even better on Sunday. There's that developing storm system by the middle part of next week. Pueblo, you could launch the weekend with a thunder shower late on Friday. Cold start Saturday morning, 38 degrees, then a real good feel good weekend. Breezy, much warmer by Tuesday ahead of that midweek storm system. Maybe a few showers drifting off the mountains by Wednesday late and for Canyon City. Not a bad temperature anywhere on the screen there. A brief shower possible Friday afternoon, maybe another round with that developing system by next Wednesday. Day. Woodland Park outdoor activities get the green light this weekend, a hike or a bike, maybe checking out the changing Aspen. Good times and good weather, maybe some showers late Sunday and then more by Wednesday. Diane?